One more Sena MLA. It's been trickling in, raining trouble for the Uddhav Sena. So one more Sena MLA likely to join the Shinde Kam. That's the breaking that we are getting uh, from uh, from the Shinde faction. Remember that many MLAs joined the Shinde camp later and this breaking that this after many of the Uddhav camp loyalists joined uh, the Shinde Sena. So one more MLA comes right after the Supreme Court has also outlined uh, the timeline for this entire discussion. Follow me, follow me is there in Guwahati with us and uh, follow me, give us the details of one more LMA which is this MLA who is uh, planning to join the Shinde camp. Well, uh, Mosmi, we're still uh, trying to confirm the name of the MLA at the moment. Remember that a couple of names, in fact, have been doing the rounds uh, since the past couple of days as they could be possibly joining uh, the Eknat Shinde ranks as well. This after Uday Samant was the last uh, MLA to, in fact, uh, arrive at Hotel Radisson Blue uh, two days ago. Uh, there is, of course, uh, news now coming in that one more MLA could, in fact, be joining uh, the ranks of Eknat Shinde in Guwahati uh, today. Remember, this is what Deepak Kesarkar has in fact claimed in uh, exclusive conversations with India Today as well. In fact, yesterday when I was listening to him as well, he did say that one or two more MLAs are expected to join the Eknath Shinde camp and the numbers are going to swell. He has been, of course, giving figures of uh, the total figures of about 51, 53 as well. Currently, it stands at 48. It possibly could reach 50 uh, by the end of uh, this entire um, you know, pot boiler by the time the Eknath Shinde camp in fact takes claim uh, to in fact uh, join hands with the Bharatiya Janta Party in all likelihood to form the next uh, government of uh, Maharashtra. But at the moment, what we can confirm, uh, Mosmi, is that one more MLA is likely to reach uh, Guwahati today. We'll, of course, uh, come back uh, to our viewers with further details on who that could be and from which uh, faction uh, in, in terms of where uh, he's coming from, whether the Shiv Sena or otherwise uh, an independent or otherwise. We'll get all of those uh, details uh, later today, Mosmi. Right, so that is, that is the information that we're getting right now. The information that's coming in, of course, is that one more MLA is likely to arrive in Guwahati today at Hotel Radisson Blue. Remember, the ranks of uh, the Shiv Sena currently stand at 39 in Radisson Blue and nine more independents, uh, which includes uh, two members of the Prahar Jan Shakti party. Yesterday, it was a big win for the Eknath Shinde camp because uh, the Supreme Court, for one, put aside and put a stay for the moment, an interim stay at that, on the disqualification proceedings against 16 rebel MLAs till the 11th of uh, July. It has sought written affidavits uh, from all of these uh, uh, respondents in the case, uh, including the Maharashtra government, including the deputy speaker's office, uh, Sunil Prabhu, Ajay Chaudhary, who has been appointed leader of the Legislative Party, everyone has been asked to respond to uh, the Supreme Court in an affidavit form within the next five days. And as far as uh, Ekna Shinde camp is concerned, it is to be, in fact, uh, submitted within three days' time. Uh, they have to, of course, uh, send in a written affidavit as uh, well. And the timeline, which was, in fact, there was a deadline given to these uh, rebel MLAs, uh, the 16 rebel MLAs who had received uh, disqualification notices and subsequent summons uh, were issued to them by the Deputy Speaker's Office on the 25th of June. They had given time, uh, been given time by the Deputy Speaker's Office uh, till yesterday, till Monday 5.30 p.m. to respond to the same, but after the Supreme Court's order that came in before that de deadline came to an end, that timeline has been extended till, of course, uh, the 11th of July, 5.30 p.m. So giving them some amount of breather, a window to take their next course of action. And what we're learning is that the Eknath Shinde camp in 
a few days from now, possibly within the next 48 hours itself, could possibly approach uh, Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari in order to withdraw their support to the Mahavikas Akhari government. But all of that is being planned very meticulously because there are a lot of legal nuances uh, to this as well. Now, the Eknath Shinde camp will not want to do anything which is considered to be anti-party by the law because they still are part of uh, the Shiv Sena legislative party. So they don't want to do anything which which will in fact attract uh, any sort of action against them, which will in fact, uh, you know, uh, make grounds for their possible disqualification because that well, will be the only way to you. Stay on with us. So I want all the battery of reporters to, to stay on with us from the length and breadth of the country, from Guwahati to Mumbai to Delhi to all the places where all the action is taking place. Look, the suspense Sir, continues to do. This is happening after the Supreme Court's relief to the Shinde faction. According to sources, the rebels have extended their stay in Guwahati till the 5th of July, assuming that this will be a long battle for the Game of Thrones Maharashtra. Take a look at the lay of the land. Time is running short for Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. His last bid to take control of the situation has been stopped dead in tracks by the Supreme Court. The top court has extended the deadline to respond to the disqualification notice served to rebel MLAs. The Shinde camp now has got a strategic edge, raising suspense over their next move. The possibility of the Shinde camp Approaching the governor is slim. Sources tell India today that the rebel MLAs have already extended their stay in Guwahati till July 5th. Sources say the BJP too is unlikely to approach the governor. According to the sources, a small party from the state could approach the Raj Bhavan. The possibility of governor Bhagat Singh Koshiyari calling for a flow test on his own is also not ruled out. There are uh, two ways. Either we will have to go, otherwise as a tradition, they will have to uh, admit that they don't have the number, they should step down and then we will form our government. If they don't do that within next one or two days, then we will think about our strategy. The Shinde camp is hopeful that Uddhav will step down as the chief minister. If the Uddhav government falls, the BJP is likely to stay claim as with 106 MLAs. It is the largest party in the state. The Maharashtra political turmoil has continued for 10 days and it does not seem to be ending anytime soon. Bureau Report, India Today.